A terrible fatal accident occurred at Mr. Andrew and Co's bedding factory at Surrey Hills today. A man named Thomas Lee was drawn into the teasing machine and killed. One arm was torn off and the other broken. A report was received in Perth tonight stating that while Mr. C. Bernals and Little were inspecting a refrigerator plant at the Edna May mine yesterday, escaping sulfuric acid caused an explosion, both men being temporarily blinded. They are now under medical treatment and the doctors consider that their sight will not be permanently damaged. Frederick Andrews, the Western Australian boxer, was admitted to the hospital this morning, suffering from the effects of gas fumes. He slept at a hotel last night in a room where there was a gas leak and he was found unconscious this morning. Very little hope is entertained of his recovery. Early yesterday morning, Mr. Thomas Anson Smith, 62 years of age, inspector of the permanent way on the Geraldton Norneen Railway, was killed by falling from the balcony of the railway hotel, Geraldton, onto the footpath. Deceased retired soon after midnight, and it is thought that while asleep, he walked over the edge of the balcony. The adjourned inquest of the body of the infant, which was found in the doorway of the Shamrock Brewery, was concluded yesterday. A young woman named Mary Osborne was present in custody, charged with murder. It was found that the infant died owing to the neglect of the mother. The woman was found guilty of manslaughter and committed for trial. Frank Grant, a shunter at the local railway station, was treated at the hospital tonight for a painful accident. His left thumb was crushed in the brake of a truck, the nail being completely torn away. Mr Charles Baker, a leading cricketer today, fell from an electric light pole while effecting repairs and sustained concussion of the brain. Miss Gertrude Eden, a state school teacher, died today as a result of burns received at her residence in Belimba through the upsetting of a lamp 